In shark mode a triangle there is a broken trick, and by using this you can win by remaining at one place. As you can see the head of player and corner of the ship is in a line, here we will jump into the water. As you can see ship and head of player are in the line, as you know after jumping into the water we should drown, but still player is standing, because there is an invisible block in the water and we are exactly standing on it. Now you can see the ship is gone let's see what happened. Oh. The ship is abandoned. Now people will move towards barrel. And survivor will be the winner. As you can see we are still standing and in this way we will qualify. First we will take the normal way to climb the building. From the timer, we can notice that how long it will take to reach the building, if we use the normal way. Here we are going to the building through obstacles and trampolines which is taking much time. You can notice from the timer that if we go through the normal way it will take almost 16 seconds to reach the building. Now we will use the shortcut trick to reach the building in less time than going through the normal way. First we will hit this trampoline and it will push us back, and then we will slide to jump on it. Here it took us to considerable height, and now we will slide to reach the building. You can now notice from the timer that it only took 9 seconds to reach the building. This is the path with obstacles and hurdles, but we will use a trick to bypass the hurdles. Here the trick is to jump onto the wall to bypass the hurdles. Now we will walk onto the wall to bypass the obstacles until we reach the desired destination. We will jump onto the next wall to continue walking towards the destination. Here we will move around and jump onto the nearby building. You can see we have reached the desired destination by passing the obstacles by walking on the wall. Here the trick is to bypass the blocks by walking on the pink border in the corner and using the hug emote when we reach near the block. As you can see the player bypassed the blocks when we use the hug emote while walking on the pink side border near the blocks. So you can see we tried the trick several times and the player bypassed the blocks when we used the hug emote while walking on the pink side border near the blocks. In this trick we will use a shortcut to climb on this base. First we will go near this edge and jump onto it. Here we jumped near the edge and climbed onto the edge. So this is a shortcut and easy way to climb on this base. Here as we are standing near the bomb and it is just about to explode, we will use the taunt emote and player will be saved from explosion. Here as we are standing near the bomb and it is just about to explode, we will use the taunt emote and player will be saved from explosion. Now we will try this trick several times to see if the player can be saved by using taunt emote. So we can see the player is saved when we use taunt emote just near the explosion. In Burrito Bonanza map there are some common methods to bypass through the roller. We can pass through the roller by places like these. But here we will try a much easier way to pass. First we will go near the corner and jump around to slide past the roller. So you can see we have bypassed the roll easily by jumping around and diving. Now we will try the same trick on the right side, and you can see the player passed through the roller. So the player can pass through roller by jumping around. This trick is about passing the paint rollers without colliding or falling. First we will move through the side to reach near the paint rollers. And now we change the camera angle and position of the player towards the rollers. From here we will use the kick emote which gives the player a boost, and it will pass through the paint rollers. So we have easily passed through the paint roller. This trick is about avoiding sudden collision with the french fries. Here when we are just colliding with the french fries we will use taunt emote. You can see by using taunt emote the player is saved. We did some more tries, and you can see the player was saved each time we used the taunt emote. With this fun trick you can enjoy with your friend. First we will jump near the trampoline, and it will push us back then we will jump onto it. 
first we will dive up and on returning we will push joystick forward, we will jump and dive to reach near the chair and use the taunt emote to stop exactly on the chair. So this trick is just for fun or enjoyment with the friend. This trick is about reaching the finish line in a shortcut way in Mr. Beast warehouse. First we will move to this place and jump to the other side. Now we will jump onto the fan. Dodging these obstacles, we will quickly reach to the finish line. Here you can see we have reached the finishing line. Now we will try the same trick from right side. Now we will jump onto the fan. Dodging these obstacles, we will quickly reach to the finish line. Here you can see we have reached the finishing line. This is the common way to pass through, but we will use a trick to pass through. First we will go near this edge and jump to reach this sideway. From here we can pass through by the sideway. So this is a shortcut way to move through the lava. This is a super trick to reach the finishing line. First we will move to the back of tunnel gateway. Then we will jump into the tunnel. Here mostly we don't know where is the finishing line it can be at this point or at that point, so we can see finishing line from here and move our joystick accordingly. As the finishing line is there, so we will move joystick there. The player will pass from this tunnel and goes directly to the finishing line. This trick is about bypassing the burrito roll in Burrito Bonanza map. First we will go near the corner of burrito roll and move our joystick towards the corner. So you can see we have easily passed through the burrito roll and reached the finishing line. If big crowd is present at these two platforms they both can flip. We can jump from this corner to save the player. Now through this wall we are out of danger and reach safely. Here we will try from second side of same platform. Now from this corner we can jump to the safe side. As you can see we reached safely here. As you can see after we started jumping, and there we will take short turn to lower side and jump to the inner path. We will go through jumping through this way. Now we will jump upward and to join the new way. And we can move forward to the destination. As you can see here we started jumping, and moving hammers makes impression we make elide them. We will use dance emote to save the player and in this way the character of player stops and remains safe. We will take high jump through the fan to reach the stone. By jumping on stones we can reach this place. With the help of this you can directly reach this place without the need of passing from fans. In legendary block dash map if we face this type of level. We will dive first, and then we will use emote to save the player. And in this way we will qualify. In block dash map. First we will use jump and volleyball emote. And then after landing, we will use double jump emote to bypass the block. Again here we will jump and use volleyball emote. And then after landing, we will use double jump emote to bypass the block. Now we will double jump to cross the block. As you can see we remain successful while using this trick again and again. 
Now in legendary block dash map we also use the same trick as we used in block dash map and remain successful while crossing the blocks.